wanted to be a clown. When I was graduating high school, I told my family I was going to study comedic writing in college. They said they supported me, but I knew they snickered behind my back. But today, today I'm living my dream. I'm standing on stage doing stand-up comedy. And now, no one's laughing. What's up, everybody? My name is Brian. Uh, I am in NUS just for the spring semester. I'm at PR on Exchange. Fun fact about me, I used to live in Japan for four years before this. I loved my life in Japan compared to all the other guys. I was a good dancer, I was a great singer, and my penis size was average. <laughs> I apologize if dick jokes are inappropriate for this competition. I'm only going to tell one after another. Uh, perhaps the biggest thing, or the fattest thing I should say that I miss back home is the women. Big girls have big boobs. And I have this sex move where when I'm doing a girl from behind, I'll kind of yank on her tip like this. This one time this girl's like, moo. I'm like, yeah, I was into it. I was like, yeah, you like it, don't you, you fat pal? And she's like, wait, what did you say? And I'm like, wait, what did you say? And she's like, I said, ooh. I said, oh, my bad, I thought you said moo. She's like, do you have some sick farm animal fetish? And I'm like, nah. I hope the girls can appreciate that joke. My mom said, girls have body image issues. You should never ask a woman about her weight. And I said, mom, relax, don't worry. Half these girls, I don't even ask them what their names are. My dad would try to give me some advice as well. He would always say, Brian, always wear a condom. Otherwise, you'll end up with a piece of trash son that you hate. <laughs> Dating Japanese women was tough, not only because they're women, but also because they're Japanese. Uh, my ex would ask me kind of racial questions like, Brian, Americans are so ignorant. Why can't you tell the difference between Japanese people and Chinese people? We're very different. And I was like, babe, I'm Canadian, I don't know. Uh, fortunately, I think for everybody's sake, I'm done dating, I'm off the market. Uh, I'm no longer single and loving it, or as the Japanese say, single and rubbing it. Uh, instead, I got married to a girl from Bangkok. Uh, my wife is half Thai, half American. Uh, you would think it would be kind of cool to have two cultures, but she kind of feels lost between two worlds. Uh, in Thailand, she's not really considered Thai, she's considered American. And in American, similarly, everyone thinks she's just Chinese. Uh, there are two types of women from Thailand. Uh, there are those that are kind, and those that are actually born female. Um, perhaps my wife isn't so mean so much as she's just extreme. Like, everything I do, she's that times ten. Like, I'm pretty chill, and she's frigid. I like hanging out with my friends, where she had sex with a guy that came to my birthday party. I know about this because she told me to my face afterwards. This is not a joke, this is real. It's, it sucks to be in, in an abusive relationship. Uh, it's even worse when people don't take you seriously when you try to sell them both. My buddies are like, oh come on Brian, there are girls out there who are getting punched in the face. I have no sympathy for you and your nonsense problem. And I'm like, hey man, this is serious. Every night, I have to go home and beat my dick. It's so bad that neighbors are calling the police. Cops will show up and be like, oh whoa, sir, sir, what's going on here? Why are you so swollen? And I'm like, ah, uh, I walked into a door? All right, thanks y'all, that's it. Vote Trump.